cleanup jobs are something we're going to dig into right here. Cleanup is an operation that deletes outdated backups according to the retention rules that you've set. Uh, keep in mind that this operation is only applicable to agents and workloads and not for cloud-to-cloud -cloud backups. However, you can delete those manually uh, instead of doing a cleanup job. Uh, so when you're trying to find a cleanup plan or you want to alter any of the retention policies, uh, the way you would do that is you would go down into your console, go down into the customer you would like to work with, and then hit management. Inside of there, as you scroll down past the plans, you'll be able to see that there is a cleanup tab. When you select that, you are then able to create a brand new plan uh, completely from scratch. Um, because it is a uh, advanced uh, uh, setup here, please note that it does require certain aspects of our uh, services to be turned on. From a licensing perspective, you need the server quota as well as advanced backup for that agent turned on. Uh, and then once you do, it gives you the capability to come in and do all those processing, which you can select whichever agent you want to run this job. So if you have a more resource intensive one, awesome. You can go ahead and select it hit OK, and then you need to go ahead and select the type of data that you would like to alter the retention policies on. And you can do it by two different ways. You can do it by selecting the locations you've ever stored your backups in, or you can do it by selecting the backups themselves inside of those locations. So those are two different tracks that you're able to go to. So let's go ahead and just go back real quick and go to the locations. Anywhere that you've stored data before will populate here. And you'll be able to select these locations like so, hit done, put in the passwords if they're required for any encryption, things of that nature. And then when you hit OK, you'll see that it's going to be cleaning up these direct locations. You are not able to mix and match backups and locations. Um, it's not something that you're able to do. So you have to go in and select a totally separate backup plan, or sorry, a totally separate cleanup plan if you wanted to do it from locations as well as individual backups. So when I hit done here, you'll go ahead and notice that it's going to go ahead and just select that one specific machine that I had already done and that, uh, that data set. But once you select what you need, it's then time for you to select the schedule for when you want to run this. Again, because it's off host uh, uh, and it is a little bit resource intensive, we are you know looking at the, the data and altering the retentions and getting rid of data if needed. So uh, you do want to make sure you have uh, enough space uh, on a disk to be able to utilize that. So definitely choose one that's going to be able to, to do this right, as well as um, be able to be open on a, a good schedule for you. But this right here is where it all matters, right? The actual retention rules. So this is where you're going to be able to go in and select these. And once you write this and hit done, and then you do save, um, it's going to go in and run on that schedule and overwrite the old retention policy that were there from the backup plans. So this is a nice way for you to go in and do a nice full sweep and consolidate backups. But keep in mind, even if you did not do a cleanup plan, you can still go through on the left hand side, go into your actual backup storage and browse that way as well to start deleting data outright that way. If you did not want to do a cleanup job, but there you go. Thank you.